In the African Union, officially the Togolese Republic between Ghana and its slightly larger eastern neighbor, Benin. From the 11th to the 16th century, various tribes entered the region from all directions. From the 16th century to the 18th century, the coastal region was a major trading center for Europeans to purchase slaves, earning Togo and the surrounding region the name, the Slave Coast. In 1884, Germany declared a region including present-day Togo as a protectorate called Togoland. After World War I, rule over Togo was transferred to France. Togo gained its independence from France in 1960. In 1967, Nazing Biadima led a successful military coup d'état after which he became president of an anti-communist, single-party state. Eventually, in 1993, Ayadima faced multi-party elections, which were marred by irregularities, and he won the presidency three times. At the time of his death, Ayadima was the longest-serving leader in modern African history, having been president for 38 years. In 2005, his son Foray Nazingbi was elected president. He continues to hold the office as of 2021. Togo is a tropical, sub-Saharan nation whose economy depends highly on agriculture, with a climate that provides good growing seasons. While the official language is French, many other languages are spoken, particularly those of the GBE family. The largest religious group consists of those with indigenous beliefs, and there are significant Christian and Muslim minorities. Togo is a member of the United Nations, African Union, Organization of Islamic Cooperation, South Atlantic Peace and Cooperation Zone, Francophonie, and Economic Community of West African States. Archaeological finds indicate that ancient tribes were able to produce pottery and process iron. The name Togo is translated from the U language as behind the river. Not much is known of the period before arrival of the Portuguese in 1490. During the period from the 11th century to the 16th century, Various tribes entered the region from all directions, the Yu from the west, and the Mina and Gun from the east most of them settled in coastal areas. The slave trade began in the 16th century, and for the next 200 years the coastal region was a major trading center for Europeans in search of slaves, earning Togo and the surrounding region the name, the Slave Coast. In 1884, a paper was signed at Togoville with King Malapa III, whereby Germany claimed a protectorate over a stretch of territory along the coast and gradually extended its control inland. Its borders were defined after the capture of hinterland by German forces and signing agreements with France and Britain. In 1905, this became the German colony of Togoland. The local population was forced to work, cultivate cotton, coffee, and cocoa and pay high taxes. A railway and the port of Loam were built for export of agricultural products. The Germans introduced modern techniques of cultivation of cocoa, coffee and cotton and developed the infrastructure. During the First World War, Togoland was invaded by Britain and France, proclaiming the Anglo-French condominium. On 7 December 1916, the condominium collapsed and Togo was divided into British and French zones. On 20 July 1922, Great Britain received the League of Nations mandate to govern the western part of Togo and France. To govern the eastern part, in 1945, the country received the right to send three representatives to the French Parliament. After World War II, these mandates became UN Trust territories. The residents of British Togoland voted to join the Gold Coast as part of the new independent. Nation of Ghana in 1957. French Togoland became an autonomous republic within the French Union in 1959. While France retained the right to control the defense, foreign relations, and finances, the Togolese Republic was proclaimed on 27 April 1960. In the first presidential elections in 1961, Salvanus Olympio became the first president, gaining 100% of the vote in elections boycotted by the opposition. On 9 April 1961, the constitution of the Togolese Republic was adopted.
according to which the supreme legislative body was the National Assembly of Togo. In December 1961, leaders of opposition parties were arrested because they were accused of the preparation of an anti-government conspiracy. A decree was issued on the dissolution of the opposition parties. Olympio tried to reduce dependence on France by establishing cooperation with the United States, United Kingdom, and West Germany. He also rejected the efforts of French soldiers who were demobilized after the Algerian War and tried to get a position in the Togolese army. These factors eventually led to a military coup on 13 January 1963, during which he was assassinated by a group of soldiers under the direction of Sergeant Nazingbi. Ayadima, a state of emergency was declared in Togo. The military handed over power to an interim government led by Nicholas Granitsky. In May 1963, Granitsky was 